my meal comes with a burger or a sandwich and fries, I eat all my fries first, and I then I go to my burger, fry, whatever. Like, really? I have to have that pad. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're, okay. just, you're just weird. The only thing that I do that with, I don't do it with wait, anything wait, wait, else. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say order of operations? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll allow it. Max Allotment Podcast. Uh, episode 97 of the Max Allotment Podcast has started. And with me, us is Cream. With us, me, you guys, Cream. Cream's here. Let's give hey. a round of applause. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> At least just had an applause every episode so far. Uh, Granley's here. Salute to Bruce. Hey. Hey. Max Allotment Podcast. And I'm here. How you doing, guys? It's been a while. It has good, been a while, good. man. We taking these uh, sabbaticals way too frequently. We're well, all busy. Know. Oh, it's not the sabbaticals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Dropping, dropping new words in there. Uh, we hey, talked yeah. about we that last episode. Last episode. Last episode. Last episode? <laughs> yeah, man. It yeah. seemed like it was forever ago. That's a sabbatical. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. a it sabbatical. was a sabbatical ago. <laughs> <laughs> man, uh, we've just been busy, man. I mean, uh, it's just been busy, man. Uh, uh, this time of year, you know, kids go back to school and it's just like everything changes. Well, at least for me, because, you know, my kids go back to school. Yeah. So I, 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 I'm only speaking for myself. Work stays the same, but when you add that whole routine with activities and clubs and after school and all those things, you just gotta fight through it, you know what I'm saying? So that's where we're at. Did you guys have bus stops yeah. in Florida? Did we have bus stops? Yeah, did you guys take the bus or did you walk? Yeah. Like what was your, yeah. what was your main nah. mode of transportation to school? And what but, age though? Like what? Yeah, it, it's what switched, yeah. What makes like a middle, difference is kindergarten, mom. <laughs> yeah. I mean, middle, okay, middle, when you got to like school, fourth grade okay. to high school. Nah, fourth it's, it's, it's high school. Before you got a car, or before you started driving. Fourth, so fourth, fifth, um, all the way, all the way up through eighth grade, I walked. A bus. The school, the, the a private right bus, there. not a yellow bus. Oh, oh sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. No, mine was like a private. Oh, so let private me tell bus. you my trauma. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I took, I took the when I got to high school. I took the school bus. The one that used to pick us up in the corner and be like fifty of us. Oh, work. Okay. Yeah. I never like I did that a few times when I I, I couldn't. My mom, I was too bougie. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I get, I get you. I mean, like you're not riding yeah. with the hoodlums. <laughs> <laughs> my mom was like, I need to get her on at the door and dropped off at the door. Like, yeah. make sure she gets them. in her school. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yep. Um, for me, I'd say ninety percent of my schooling, if not more, was walking. So, oh. uh, in the Bronx, even to high school. Oh yeah, that's right. Wow. In the Bronx, I, uh, I was it was I was like walking distance. Um, let me see. Where, yeah, when I went to P- school in PA, it wasn't walking distance, but because it was a, it was the city was small. Everything was like, hey, if you live within this this space, actually the city's pretty big, but not and not huge. But it's like small enough that it's only one high school type of shit. And, oh hell, yeah. <laughs> and so, if you lived in certain radius, you have to walk, and you live outside of that radius, take the bus. But yeah, that radius was fucking pretty big. <laughs> so, it- like, like if you if you if you lived in you lived if you <laughs> you lived in the streets that border the town, you get the bus. Yeah. If you leave if you leave if you live four blocks up from that street, you don't get the bus. <laughs> that sounds Damn. Crazy. But it all led to the same school. Yeah. That's oh, crazy. Yeah. That's, a sm- that's a small town. Yeah. I mean, it's getting bigger so now. You did I mean, that for- yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah How many yeah. years did you do that for? Oh, four years? Like five years? Four so okay. middle school into like into like high school. Um, yeah, okay. man. When, it's bro. And I hate to sound like that old man. Like back in my day, I used to walk in the blistering cold, and I did. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm just saying that shit was real. We didn't have global warming back then to keep us warm. We were fucking freezing our asses off. Um, I remember yeah. one well, time. I remember one time well, in, old man. in PA, it was actually so cold. They were like shutting. It was cold. They shut the schools down. 
So it wasn't co- it wasn't snowy or anything. It was just cold as fuck. Brick for all yeah. you New York people. Nah. And they're like <laughs> shutting it down. It was like negative 20. <laughs> so, yes, I, I lived yeah. through that shit. Sorry, go ahead. Nah, fuck that. Negative 20, I ain't going anywhere. Even oh. if the school is open, I'm not going. Negative right. 20? It was like nah. negative. I was a negative. Like, it was like low. It was like low single digits into like the negative one, two type shit. That's why they closed. Oh, still too cold. Nah, fuck that. Nope. Oh, wait. Is that a sunny, sunny I, 90? Like <laughs> what was that? I, I went to school. It was 92 in, on Christmas morning. That's the way we grew up, you know? So, nah, I'm not about that cold life. Yeah. No, over here, like, it's, it could be pouring and flooding. And I was like, your ass got to go to school. Like. <laughs> so I think it's equivalent to the negative 20 degrees. Which one's worse, you know? It, it could be a hurricane. Like, nah, you got to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a category two. It's safe to go to hey. school. <laughs> you better bring your, ass, bring your ass to school and help us board, board the school up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We're going to get into hurricanes a little bit later because that's some funny shit. Not the hurricanes, but the situation. Yeah. Not the hurricanes. The situation. The, the situations Jesus. that are surrounding the hurricane. We get to it. anyway. Um, <laughs> what are we drinking? We haven't started the drinks yet. Uh, Cream, go first. Okay. Okay. I'll go first. So coming back to my supermarket queen route. Um, I sent my overage daughter for a beer run. I trusted her. I said, go to the nearest supermarket. She went to public. And she brought me this baby. Oh, terrapin. Okay. Oh, terrapin. terrapin. Okay. Terrapin. All right. Luau? Yeah. Luau. I, Lua, sorry. Granny, Granny um, speaks fluent yeah. Hawaiian, so let him. Hey. <laughs> no, he does. Hey. <laughs> so this is how I, mean, I, I have understand passion it. fruit. Oh, if you understand it. Wait. L- let's say one time for Hawaii, guys. Like, really? What's going on over there? Like, oh, man. Oh, yeah. I don't even understand the situation. It's crazy. It's I don't even know if the real or not. It's real, but what happened? You know, it's like whatever. I saw, I saw they're having happen. the same but, thing in Turkey too. What random wildfires? But go ahead. Yeah. Well, anyways, um, so back to the beer. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, it has passion fruit, orange, and guava IPA flavors. Okay. Um. It's from Terrapin Beer Co. and from Athens, Georgia. Georgia. In Athens, Georgia. Yeah. Um, I love it. It's actually really good. I'm surprised I've never tried this and never bought it from the supermarket. Love it. Has it has a ABV. Yeah, it has an ABV of six point five percent. Oh, is it IPA or so, sour? I can't remember. What you said which one? It's not a sour. It's a well. Pass. Wait. Passion fruit, orange, guava, IPA. It's an IPA. Okay. Luau, crinkles. Where in the world is crinkles? What the heck? So, is that w- so what do we, we got? You said guava. What was the other one? Guava, passion uh-huh. fruit, passion fruit, and orange. And orange. Okay. All right. It's a lot of sweetness. You know guava? Guava is guava in, in, in both Spanish and English. Guava. Guayaba. What's, what's guayaba. I call, no, it's guayaba. Guayaba. Okay. Guayaba. I was like, wait, because yeah. I was thinking. Yeah, I was know, like, like, wait a minute. I don't, <laughs> I like, I've never called anything. Like, wow. <laughs> what like, I, 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 the I thing know. is, <laughs> when even even like us as Puerto Ricans, like we'll say guava like to our parents or you know whatever, and they will understand what we mean. Like so, I, so yeah. I was like, is, is there really a word? And then you say guava. I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I forgot about that one. But like yeah. I've said guava to all my non English, not Spanish, yeah, non English speaking family members, and they understood me. Oh, get it? Oh, guava de, de guava de queso. You know, not guayaba de queso. <laughs> so they don't right. sell, they, they say guava, they, and they, they it's guava not de queso. Guayaba. It's, it's guayaba. Guayaba, excuse me. Yes. Yeah. Guayaba. So the, not gringo way. He said it guayaba. Oh, gua, guayaba. <laughs> guayaba. Uh, <laughs> guayabera. It's guayaba. Yeah, that happens. Do you really want to say Spanish? It's guayaba. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, right? <laughs> Lulu Luau Crunkles. That's the name of it. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I like this beer. It's, it's really good. It has a good flavor to it. Um, six point six, I said six point five. Yeah. So it's there. Um, 
it's really good. Out of five, I will give it a 4.25. Ooh. Ooh. This is the color. Okay. All right. Yeah. Nice. It's, it sounds like it, it would be. It's, it's good. With, with all the fruit that you were mentioning, it sounds like it would be like sweet. No, you know I mean? it's not sweet at all. It's kind of lightish. Like a, it has a light. Okay. All right. Four point two five. Okay. Damn, we're starting. We're starting off good. Yep. Granny, talk to us what you're drinking, my guy. Man, I'm. Uh, I think the last couple episodes I had some beer, um, so I'm gonna go back to. Um, bourbon. Okay. And I'm going to go with oh. Buffalo Trace. Um, Classic. I've had this bottle for a while. And I've only had, I've only uh, drank out of maybe like two. Maybe this is probably the third time. Um, yeah. To be quite honest, I don't know why this is such a, like, I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. But why the so much hype behind it? Can I you can't that? find it. You can't find it. Or a friend of mine. A friend of mine. I find it here pretty. Pretty. It's not hard to get, right? But when I sometimes when I find it, it's either a hundred bottles of it or none of it, right? A friend of mine sent me some pictures when they're like selling it for triple the amount of what I found it, just because I guess it's easy to get in some states than others. Um, I, it's good. I'm not standing in line. I'm not paying triple the amount. So, yeah. What were you gonna say, Joe? It's fucking amazing, and it's oh, everywhere. Amazing? Yes, Buffalo Trace is really fucking good. Again, I I factor in when I say certain things like that. Yes, there's ridiculously top shelf tier type shit that's way off price range and all that shit. I get it, but when you look at price, availability, flavor, um, consistency, whatever you want, whatever, all of that, dude, Buffalo Trace is probably like the best nation bourbon mm, i don't know man because i don't, I don't like know. i'm not a fan of makers i fuck with makers i'm not a fan of it okay Ooh, uh, so, no, no no i like it too I, I, I if they if they offer it to me i'm gonna drink it but it's like if i got makers and something else see like even four yeah, roses yeah. four roses is, is is great too four roses is right there next to buffalo trace in my opinion but yep. the i don't think the availability of four roses is as high as buffalo trace um, I'm gonna disagree with you a little bit, right? Because I do like it; I, it's really good. But I've had something else up here that has been better mm-hmm. than Buffalo Trace, right? Well, at what price? And though? these, and I'm not. Pay, I'm telling you, you think I'm, I'm? I'm not going paying all these crazy prices. I might, you know, splurge on an eighty dollar bottle or something like that. But I'm not going 120. 150 200 bucks i'm not doing that yeah but what like i'm buffalo, saying is buffalo trace no whoa, whoa yeah like these probably some of these right here 40 50 bucks maybe there might be one in there for 60 maybe that eh taylor back there is like 80 you know what i'm saying so my it's not like i have an expensive collection right yeah i'm not i'm not doing that but um there's there's some matter of fact the one i had uh last episode i think tastes better than, than buffalo trace yeah but and buffalo also- trace don't get me wrong but buffalo trace is good but the one I have from Oregon with the finished in oh. sherry sherry cast and all that, mm. oh man, amazing! So amazing, better better than than, than Buffalo Trace. Like but it, I'm not. That doesn't that doesn't mean that Buffalo Trace is not good. I think Buffalo Trace is great because, like I said, the availability and all that shit, and it's it's a great way. First of all, it's like when you introduce somebody to bourbon, this is probably one of the top whiskeys you can introduce them with, and then they can build up from there. Um. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't drink like whiskey. I'm not a bourbon uh, connoisseur, whatever you want to call that. I drink it, but yeah. like I don't know if you should start high then go low or whatever it is. But I'm always of the mindset of like you gradually get better at certain shit. Like when you taste beer, you taste the shit stuff, then you get to the better stuff. You know what I mean? So um, that's how I'm thinking about it. So if you're like, yep. if somebody is like, hey, I just turned 21, what, what can I drink? What do you recommend? I'm a huge bourbon fan. Well, what's bourbon? Okay, well let me get a bottle of Buffalo and help you. You know taste it out you know introduce it to you go from there yeah uh, yeah I, I will say that um that it's a good i'm not gonna say a good starter one but it's, it's a good starting point right because yeah there's some of the stuff that that's behind me that has some some hidden flavors in there that that will definitely stand out in comparison to this one right here mm. um 
but it does have a fame a famous name that's the other part you know what i'm saying uh you say buffalo chase and people already go oh shit, that's you know top level top notch and all that yeah. um i'm not gonna go that call me crazy but i'm not just gonna go, i'm not gonna go that route it is good very good however there are better okay so I'm what's your rating a four, a four? okay a four. bro you're a three you're, four. A four 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 no it's good but there's, four. There, oh, okay, okay, but okay. I, there's some up here that are better than this one. <laughs> Uh, Kane's like, yeah, this is I'm shit. Gonna, this is ass. Yeah. You know, I kind of like it, so it's a four. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, but there's better ones. Let's let's okay. call it what it is, man. Let's call it what it is. All right, I'll wrap it up for I'm us. Gonna, Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I'm drinking double Citra from my good friends at Tribus Beer Company in Connecticut. Hey. Shout out to Tribus, okay. one of my favorite breweries in in Connecticut. I almost said Arizona. Um, in Connecticut, and every time I go out there, I'm, I'm always at Tribus at least once or twice um, staff is dope vibes are always great and uh, their beer is amazing so I'm drinking the double citra again double citra from Tribus um, okay. it's citra more citra oh and double citra those are all the hops they use <laughs> citra citra and more citra does citra have, more citra, citra double citra <laughs> Um, okay. They might All have right. a little bit of citra in it. I don't know that. They didn't specify how much they put in here. <laughs> just, just three, three part, three part citra. So, this beer, I had it at the brewery, <laughs> and it was about two and a half weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. So it's been a minute since I had it again. When I bought it, when I first had it, when I first got to Connecticut, I was like, "Yo, I got I, I let me drink this. Whatever, cool, good beer, right?" And I said, "Fuck, that was a really good beer." And then I'm about to leave. And then I say, hey, do you have cans? Because, I, you know, even if I don't drink it right away, bring it back or whatever. So I bought the cans. I, now I have it here in Arizona. And I've just been t- sipping it. And I'm like, damn, this is really fucking good. I mean, it's hard to fuck up Citra. So that, you know, not that I'm saying you can't. I'm just saying, I don't know. From what I understand, Citra is like a cheat code when it comes to most IPAs. Um, okay. So... I'm tasting like fuck this is good and I'm just now looking at it as I'm talking to you guys I'm looking around the can for the ABV yeah it's sitting at an 8.4% 8.4 and I've been destroying the fuck out of it I mean it's got a nice color to it nice taste yo that shit looks thick (laughs) that's what she said that's what she said (laughs) in my (laughs) tribus tribus glass you gotta stop saying (laughs) what what's yo can you can you get a whistle i need i need need to get a whistle what's he's a referee man he needs to call ball flag of the play (laughs) i'm I'm, yeah i'm gonna have to do that i'm gonna wear a referee shirt next time that's what i'm gonna do is that is that the one that's called is it called double citra double citra yeah 8.4 8.4 citra citra and more citra <laughs> i think it has citra in it. <laughs> uh, it's a citra citra holic anyway uh i'm gonna give this a 425 this is solid 425 okay. i'm telling you tribus shout out to one shout out to their five-year anniversary i love it when uh breweries you know have been continually going uh yeah support local uh two um they're fucking great. I don't know what to say. Like this beer is fucking amazing. So they make amazing beer, and I love their glassware. I, yeah. Now that I'm looking at the labels, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I had the one that's called Fuck It, the triple IPA. Oh yeah, that might have and then I had yeah, and I think you sent me the the rice lager. Oh yeah, that shit was good. Yeah, I do. Re- I do remember liking it. I, I do remember really good. liking the, the Fuck It. The rice lager was that. good. That's because it was clean. Yeah, it was like a refreshing. I was like, "What the hell's a rice lager?" I do remember that. And I was so like, "What the fuck is this?" Most most Japanese beers are rice lagers, but I didn't, I didn't know that because yeah, you know, I, I don't know. Not like I was looking for a rice lager, and then I was like, what "The fuck is this?" Although speaking of Japanese beers, Sapporo, my favorite. What about it? Sapporo is one of my favorites. Really? I'll drink Sapporo. Sorry. I'll drink Sapporo Sorry. all night. Out of all the Japanese beers, Sapporo all day. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'll I'm not like. I'm not refusing it. Yeah, I'll. Yeah, I'll have them. Like if I go to a Japanese spot or you know Asian spot and I'm eating sushi and I want beer, that's yeah. what it happens. Sapporo. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, solid. I won't have it at home, but I'll, I'll definitely order it at an agent spot. I did. So then he said that at home. I did when Hurricane Sandy hit the Northeast. Um, I was mm-hmm. stuck around my work, and they had to get us a hotel because we couldn't go home. The highways are closed and everything else. So of course, what you do is you you beeline straight to the fucking liquor store to see if you can get some booze before you go to the hotel, right? And it was some place, and and I was like, it was near the the the, uh, the job, but I was like, eh, I don't know what they got here. Then I saw a twelve pack of Sapporo for like nine ninety nine, like the big fucking 16, 17 ounce cans, whatever they are. And I was like, sold. Wow. I'm taking that shit. So yeah, I got fucked up on Hurricane Sandy because I was like, <laughs> I work on Sapporo on a budget. <laughs> On a budget, yo, <laughs> that's always a win, man. When you can drop less than twenty bucks and then have a good night, <laughs> go right yeah. in. Uh, but uh, well, so Asahi, as it Asahi, is that you pronounce it? Uh, Asahi. Yes, Asahi. Yeah, let's As- call it Asahi. I think it's Asahi. Fine. I'm I want to say Asahi, but you might be right, Asahi. I don't know. Anyway, that one's good. Asahi. I'm not crazy about it. Like that one's like. If that's all you got, I'll, you know, usually I don't drink beer when I eat. I don't know. I like, I'm not, a, I'm not that kind of guy where I, I need to like, I need to separate the two. So I need to like, if I'm drinking beer and it's some beer that I know, A, I've had a million times and B, I'm craving a beer with my food. But nine times out of 10, I do not drink beer and eat at the same time. Oh, no, I'm so you don't have a beer with pizza? Nah, it's rare. It's a rare situation if I do. Or I'll do the beer. F- I'll do the beer first then eat or eat then drink beer like i won't do it together like i won't oh, wow. i mean i agree Are with you when oyster? like yeah beer and I mean, oyster? yeah like i agree with you when you said like if it's a beer that i haven't had i'm not yeah. eating it i'm not eating and drinking that beer i want to enjoy the beer because it's the first time i'm having it but if i'm if i'm having wings and, and pizza whatever i'm drinking some some right. some beers at the same time some go to dinner beer, whatever, get some yeah. steak or whatever you know what i'm saying if it's even if it's a craft beer but it's a craft beer that i've had yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if it's one that I haven't had, then I gotta separate. It. I get nah, what you mean by that. I, I gotta I gotta drink water. I gotta drink water. Like I can't I can't do like even if it's the, like if it's a beer that I like, I'm like, ooh, this beer I like. I was like, but I get I get after my eat. Yeah. Okay. But I'm I'm also I'm also like that when I eat, so like I'm real particular about shit. Like if I get so for example, if I get my meal comes with a burger or sandwich and fries, I eat all my fries first and I then I go to my burger fry whatever. Like I have to have that pad, like yeah. Yeah, okay. you're, doing, you're just weird. <laughs> I can't, I, it's, and, and, and this is this is only the only thing that I do that with. I don't do it with wait, anything wait, wait, else. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say order of operations? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll allow it. Everybody has an order of operations. That's for a their gem money. right there. That is a gem right there. <laughs> it's I'm true though. I have money for platanitos. I I eat my platanitos last. That's my dessert. They have my maduro, like they have to be fried and sweet. That shit is gold glass. You don't interfere. Oh, I might no. have a perfect bite that I might no. get a little piece with the whole mm. thing. So like, then like I if you got, of it so, that so like if you got some arroz and then you got maduros and you got some whatever meat, you you're eating the maduros last. Yeah, I might have a few bites with them with everything. I call it the uh, what's it called? Perfect bite when you get a little bit of everything, no. you put it in a fork. You know, like one of each, I guess. But mainly platanitos, that's my madness of order of operations. That goes last. That's, a, that's dessert. Like, that's like the sweet, perfect ending. It's, really? I don't know. That's how I think I mean, wait, wait. <laughs> Did you just say it was a sweet, perfect ending? <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> I, no. no. Which, like, God, is amazing at the end. It's nah. sweet. It's oh, like, trust I, me. I, it's always amazing at the end. <laughs> I don't. I don't do that. I don't do that. No, you, you don't enjoy it at the end. No, you don't, you don't mean, enjoy. <laughs> we're talking food here. I mean, I mean the rice, the chicken, the maduros, all at once. Yeah, I agree. Like, and the, and the, there's, there's el, no, el aguacate también. El aguacate, all that is all. Yeah, cool. yeah. that's all no, going that, together, bro. Yeah, that goes with. That goes yeah, with. Yeah. But wait, you're Dominican, right? No, yeah. where are you from? Dominican. You're Dominican. Yeah, Dominicans do that. They eat the banana with the meal. In Puerto Rican. Yeah, absolutely. Goddamn right. Wait. So when we say banana, banana, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. So, so, I got, I got to pause you guys for a quick second because I know what you guys what? are talking about when you say banana in your meal. Some people might misunderstand that, right? Because he's Dominican. Yeah. Okay. So, what she says by banana in the meal, she means an actual banana, not a platano. 
right? Yeah. Yes. You cut up yes. and you eat it with the meal. Like yes. it's. Well, I Puerto Ricans do it with yeah. our cereal. We do that with cereal, a lot. Yeah, yeah, I've done, I've done that with cereal. Yeah. But it's got to be frosted flakes, though. Or corn flakes. Oh yeah, one of those two. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, you're, 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 you're looking for diabetes, my man. <laughs> Come on, man. Come but, on, man. That's some, t- some terrible shit. That. That's some but let's, shit. let's go like, back to the bananas. Flakes. The bananas and the food in a second. Okay, so, okay. bananas. So, they would peel a banana, put it on the plate, and eat it with, you know, various scoops of rice beans and whatever else, you know. Mm-hmm. So, I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's a beautiful yeah. combination. I, listen, I was, I thought, I, I never saw it till like, maybe 10 plus years ago and I'm like yeah. you know I went to a, a Dominican friend's family or whatever yeah and they're like get a guineo I'm like no I don't get a platano like no guineo like like, listen man this is a banana and hey, I'm man. like uh, okay and I tried it and I was like yo this is fucking amazing but I'm not I'm not a, I'm not against fruits and foods like if certain fruits go together and with the foods it's fucking amazing pineapple on pizza yeah. shit like that you know what I mean I don't care. I don't care what your sexual preference is. <laughs> 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 nope, I'm not answering. I'm not answering. <laughs> I decline the question. I plead the fifth. <laughs> no, no, no. Formal protest. <laughs> nope, not doing it. Not doing it. Not doing it. Fine. Okay, so <laughs> let's talk, let's talk about. <laughs> we were talking um, about hurricanes earlier. Uh, okay. What, what, what? So wait, wait, Tell wait. Me. going back to like all this liquor and stuff like that, you know? Um, have you guys heard about Dunkin' Donuts and their new boozy drinks? I did. I saw it. I didn't, did? I didn't think it was. I, I, think was, was I thought it was a joke. The day. I thought it was a joke. <laughs> Yeah, I read you about it, and then I was at Dunkin' Donuts the other day. Yeah, I like, oh, because, shit. I mean, Dunkin' Donuts has partnered with breweries to make beer, but that's only, like, to partner okay. with them. That's not oh, a big okay. thing. But I, just, I, I did see the, uh, what was it, the spiked something or other? It wasn't juice uh, or coffee. No, it was like a, it was like yeah. iced tea. It was like iced tea. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, it was iced tea. It was iced tea. <laughs> So Duncan is introducing the new spiked iced tea coffees and iced teas. So they're having both the coffees and the iced teas. Oh, it's both. The up? coffee is six, it's both. They have a, a, the collection. Yeah, the coffee is newer, <laughs> and the coffee has six percent ABV. Hold on, hold on. So let me let let, let. Duncan just monopolized the game. They did. Amen. You put out boozy coffee? <laughs> yes. With iced tea. Boozy coffee. Can you imagine taking this shit to work? That's what I'm saying. So like have you ever no, had you. the have you have you ever had the, the PBR the PBR coffees? They're not no. bad. They're not bad. They're no. really they're no, really never. fucking they're, they're they're heavy, but cuz it's got a lot of cream. Oh, like in. the south? No, yeah, no, no, no. Some... It's, it's hard coffee. Okay. No, I haven't hey, but, had that. I haven't you tried. know what? It's good. I, it's curious. amazing. Try it. I'm curious to try these because these are they got coffee in them, but they look like iced tea. Like they got they got a half and half iced tea. Then they got a strawberry dragon fruit. Whoa, whoa, half and half. Pineapple. Arnold Palmer's. Yes. yes. Yo, they're and coming after ju- <laughs> Yo, did our guy Juve- Juvenile have some Arnold Palmer's, bro? Damn, bro. Now see now this is this is they, where they, the they big guy it. takes out the Squash. little guy. Uh yep, that juvie juice. That that's juvie juice, called. yes, that's what it's called. <laughs> that ain't that ain't making it out of out of New Orleans. Bro, n- yo, you New Orleans folks in Nolens, support Juvie. Get that Juvie juice, pause. Oh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> it's what it's called. I don't know what they'll say. <laughs> yeah, but the way you the way you said it made it made it sound real bad. Uh, oh. I perverted it up. Hey, I'm gonna try these, but I'm gonna try. I think I'm gonna try the the strawberry dragon. Hey, what, what's dragon fruit? Which one's that? Oh, that one? strawberry. The, yo, that's my no, favorite you know, that's re- that. refresher. Like no, 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 no. Like dragon fruit. Which one? Big... Like the big one? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Did you did you dragon? say there's gonna be a strawberry dragon fruit flavor? 
Yeah, there is. Oh, Bro, I'm, looking at it right now. Not the coffee. I'm texting tea. my boys the right tea. now. We are strawberry dragon fruit refresher whores. That's <laughs> our PSL. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. Which was dragon fruit? I don't know. It's good the though. One, look at that. Google it. Google Leilo. Oh, that, isn't that guayaba? Um, what's that shit called? No. Guayaba. It's not. <laughs> no, not guay it's not guayaba. It's guayaba, it's, uh, and that, that's no. guayaba. Isn't it? Isn't it uh, guanabana? Isn't that what that is? Is that the one I'm thinking about? No, it's not. This one grows like on a cactus, like like tree. Um, and it's it? like burgundy. It's, it's like a hot pink, like a hot burgundy, and it has it's just it could be it, white guys. inside, or it could be yellow as well. But it's white with like black seeds. Which one's chinola? Chinola's what? Chinola's passion fruit. Oh shit! Oh passion fruit. See. Okay, similar. Okay, I don't know. Passion what dragon fruit, fruit has more flavor. Look up. I, look I, I look fuck, up. If I you fuck, don't know what dragon fruit is, look up prickly pear. That'll blow your mind. That's in most of the beers we're getting nowadays. So let me ask you something: is is that fruit or is that tree? I guess it's considered a tree. No. Um, or a plant? Is it a plant? I don't does know. It does it have but seeds? If, like, if it area, if it has know, seeds. <laughs> no, no, no. If it has seed, if it has fruit. seeds, hold on. If it has seeds, it's a fruit. So anything that has seeds okay. in it is a fruit. Tomatoes are a fruit. Avocados are a fruit. Uh, oranges, okay, so pineapples, fruit. mangoes. Kiwi, but dragon fruit is in the kiwi family, whatever the fuck that is. Like, I don't know. Okay, no, but what in, I meant in that is like part of the family, like in that a part of the family tree. A, tree, a fruit plant, a fruit tree. You know, like I don't know, it's just because the size. Oh yeah, no, it's a I tree. Mean, I'm know. pretty sure it it goes a, they're on, pretty big. They're, they're big. They're okay. pretty big. They're not going to grow on a plant, so they're not like uh, peppers and shit like that. They're going to grow, you know, they grow on trees. So, do you have that common in your area? Dragon fruit. Like where, where you live? I don't even, yeah. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> so where Let alone it, it's, it, it's where so we do. The, where? It's I usually it's usually in this in the like the summer fall time of year. Um, a lot of breweries will make dragon fruit IPAs or dragon fruit lagers. Um, Mexico. So it's 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 this time of year that it's popular. So people make shit with it. Um, That's the ugly ass fruit. <laughs> That is fruit's an got feelings ass. too, man. <laughs> That's an ugly ass fruit. Let me tell you, dragon fruit gave me my taste back after COVID part one. The first time I had COVID and lost my taste buds, there was this like TikTok internet hack that said if you had like either a burnt orange or a dragon or dragon fruit, it will bring your taste back. And I shit you not, I had that shit and got my taste back like right away. Really? Listen. There's something in dragon fruit, yeah. I tell I don't people know. all the time. But well, let me let me apologize for the food dragon. is no, your medicine. Ugly. Food is your medicine. They're Just saying, ugly. food yeah. is your medicine. They're still ugly. And you know why? Yeah. That's that makes it more attractive for you as a human being because there's a lot of nutrients in those different ugliness that you see. That shit is that shit is ugly. <laughs> Yeah. All I said was ugly. I didn't say anything about it being unhealthy and all that. I said it was ugly. <laughs> you an ugly ass piece of fruit, but I'm gonna eat you uh, anyways. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that shit is ugly. No, it's anyways. good though. Okay, you need to try that one day. Damn. Bring it back. Bring it. Uh, if I find it. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna okay. look for it, so I'm lying about that. I'm not gonna look for it. Exactly. Be like, yo, I got some dragon fruit. Yo, since you guys I'm are. This. I'm since, having this. Since I'm gonna you, go find Since you guys are Florida natives, what's good with the uh Publix and the hurricane cakes? <laughs> so Publix <laughs> Cream, you, is, gotta, you gotta bring me up to speed. Publix up. Publix is a is a big hurricane chain uh, hurricane chain. Big supermarket chain. <laughs> okay, hurricane okay, chain. Yes, yes. Big yes. supermarket chain yes, that started in Florida. It's so big into Florida that even the colors mimic the Miami Dolphins. Yes. Yeah, they don't. They don't. They don't have that. orange. They don't have orange. Oh, but wait. What do you they're mean green. with the hurricane? They're, they're green. Like not they're not that? aqua. That they're green is aqua, bro. That green is fucking no. hurt. My, no, Miami man. Dolphins green. No, anyway, green. move on. Move on. The point is, they're so the Florida as fuck. So, 
They're, yes, they're Florida as fuck. <laughs> I, that I'll give you. That damn green is not the color of the dog. So, anyway. Not so even they... close. Look at this shit. <laughs> look at not what? Even close. <laughs> He's looking at his I own screen it. telling me to look at it. How much does it look? Turn your, turn your monitor. <laughs> <laughs> this is more off. Like, this. That shit is green. This is like, like, like forest. No, mentira. What's that other one? That's Hunter not forest. Green? That's it's not even Hunter. Green. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That might have changed. That might have changed since I last saw it. But anyway, the it, point it, is, it damn sure wasn't no. Blue the point one. is, they anyway, were a hurricane. They were hurricane. They were a supermarket. They are a supermarket chain in Florida, and from what I'm reading, they were doing hurricane cakes. Mm. So okay, whenever something, a hurricane something. come by, they would have a cake themed after said hurricane. Um, mm. and for those of you who don't know, Florida is very hurricane prone. Yes. Very hurricane. Yeah. Like, because we're the dick of the United States. <laughs> the structure. <laughs> Yo, when pe- you have when people when I first heard there was a hurricane season, I'm like, excuse me, what? Yeah, yeah. like the entire like, year. Yeah. bro, that's like now. nine months out of the year, bro. It is. So like it's November, like, like the first oh, week of November. Like that. Yeah, Yo, it's like, it's like the first week in January to like when November. I, like wait, when what? I first what? heard that, I was like, yeah. that like shit April, don't make right? no sense. I think it's like April. I no, think it's like no, April it's to like, November. It's like June or July. No, it just started like a week ago. It just started. Hurricane Google, another Google. And it's, <laughs> oh, what a, wait, wait, wait. I, Google lay hello. Google lay hello. Un Google lazo. But anyways, go ahead, continue, continue. Yeah, oh, hurricane cakes. Is that what you guys do out there? A hurricane comes by, you fucking celebrate we like it's. Do hur- we do hurricane. I've never bought a hurricane cake, but we do hurricane parties. And that, what that means is that everybody, you decide what house you're going to bunk it, you know, like go to. And then um, everybody brings something, usually only beer. <laughs> ain't, ain't no food in sight. <laughs> we don't like, think smart, you know? It's like you automatically, you automatically think get fucked up because we're going to die. Fuck it, you know? Like, <laughs> YOLO. You don't need beer, maybe some chips if you get lucky. I don't know. That was that used to be my hurricane party back in the days. But um yeah, it just everybody. Yo, that sounds so like as long as the hurricane yeah. <laughs> Everything you just described it sounds like a fucking like <laughs> Yeah. And then you say you, the you're like, if, like if, a, if, if we're gonna like die, party. let's all die together. Yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> we're gonna have a party. We're gonna go out in this bitch. This now, if it. there's a bunker, like if they actually have like a, something where people can be feel comfortable in or not comfortable with safety, and excuse me, then yeah, I get that. But if it's like, yo, let's go to Joe's crib and just fucking hang out yeah. and yo, see what the fuck there's happens. No, <laughs> there's no bunkers yeah, in Florida. Yeah, <laughs> only the no, pool. None of that pool shit. Are the only like safe zone, like the, the, the way they're built. Supposedly. Okay. Yeah, oh, so you go to like the local pool. Yeah, I remember. Um, but if I need just, oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, I, I was gonna say there was. I'm not gonna go. It wasn't a. It wasn't a party. This was when I was younger. We filled up our bathtub with ice. Oh, that makes sense. And we, okay. and we had our shit in it. That makes sense. Later on, as I, as I became an adult, then we had the drinks in the bathtub. That Bro. was our, we did that. That was like a norm. So your parents were worried yeah. about survival. You were already getting fucked up during the hurricane. <laughs> yes, absolutely. They're like, yo, our kids are like 14, 12, and like 9. So we got to take care of them. And then I was like, fuck that. We're going to put beer. <laughs> we got, we got water, we got water from the, the ice. Cake. We got water from yeah. the ice. <laughs> but going the back to the cake, somebody... I never had that cake. Yeah. I yeah, I never bought that cake. cake. I've never bought it. That must be some new shit because normally I'm telling you, I'll be, you buy something to drink and a snack, and and that is good to go. I mean, yeah, you might have a battery here and there, a flashlight. I don't know. <laughs> but what I'm putting this story is, hurricane parties are to get fucked up. Okay, uh, and you choose the best house. Whoever out of your friends or family has the best house where the hurricane is likely to hit. That's the house you're gonna go to. Whoa, so you're gonna whoa, chill there likely. So the is over. Yeah. Huh? Likely to hit? No, less likely. Oh, no, it's less likely. Sorry, oh, so where it's or, not like or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah, the better protected. Goes opposite one. way. So my mom is on the beach, so they're gonna hit the coast, you know, which the beach is dangerous. You know, so I told her to come to my house. Yes. Yeah. So 
That's or you can go works. surfing. Just, you can go surfing in your mom's house. Or if you're brave. No, it depends on the category <laughs> of the hurricane. But most of the time, the rain here is the same as the freaking hurricane. It doesn't really matter. So that's why we take hurricanes like nothing because this is like, we don't take it that serious because it rains here freaking all the time with like winds and it's like it's the same shit. I just got flooded like what, three months ago? And it was a regular day. This is fast. I've had hurricanes and it like literally just only like rains and you're good and like this is a normal day, you know? And you get to be off work for like two days. So that's Yo. why we have hurricanes coming because okay. not all of them are serious, even though you're supposed to take it serious. All facts. Can I, there's not, can I, there's can not I, a lie in all of that. There's not one lie in any of that. Yo, I. <laughs> that shit is true as fuck, man. We, <laughs> it is what it is, man. It's a little water. It's all good. Yeah. A little wind. <laughs> Yeah, I don't no. know about yeah, anybody good. else, but good. I felt the passion from Kareem <laughs> when it came to Hurricane Talk. And she was like, yo, let me tell you. Sit back. I got this. It's, it's back. <laughs> Fuck I have the it. I have... <laughs> Born and yep. raised in Miami. That's what you do. You I haven't lived in Miami in a while, but the last time I lived in Miami... There was a hurricane every fucking year. It yeah. was like it's it's like it's coming. Just be prepared. Get your coolers ready. You you had you know what I'm saying? Like just just be prepared. I, I will and say yeah. <laughs> And we were prepared. What what, what was the last yeah. hurricane that hit or the last concern that hit uh Florida? It was like was that Michelle? Fuck, Fuck I don't know. I don't, I don't right. know. The only one I remember is Andrew. Like, that's the one that, like, really. Oh, no, that was oh, in the 90s. Yeah, no, no, no. 94. 94? Yeah. 93? Nin- some yeah. early 90s, yeah. But. Yeah, 93, 94. Yeah, I think it was Hurricane there. Michelle. I could be wrong, but I think it's Hurricane Michelle. So there were memes and shit posted on the internet. Whatever. <laughs> and my friend and I were hanging out, and I showed him a picture of one of the supermarkets, and. The entire bread aisle is completely empty, right? Oh. And in the bread aisle are bread and tortillas. <laughs> the row of tortillas were all there, and all the bread was gone. Oh my God. You're tortillas, Florida. man. My friend, that my, has to be here, right? My friend is Florida. like, "Yo, y'all don't eat tortillas." I'm like, "No, we don't. <laughs> like, nope. We love our bread, bro." Hey, man. Yo. Latino Caribbean That's- Latinos Caribbean Latinos will buy a fifteen dollar bag of bread before buying a two dollar bag of tortillas. <laughs> it's nothing against tortillas; it's that we don't know what to do with that shit. So That's we're like, yo, <laughs> we need bread. Yeah. No disrespect. Yeah. I love tortillas, but nobody's like, oh, tortillas in café. No, it's pan con café. You know what I mean? Like that's <laughs> yeah, pan and yeah, yeah. tortillas and café. Mm, you might be onto something. Help me out, cause I. I- right. Nah, it doesn't sound right. Except Aren't except oh, in arepa, in arepa with cafe. Are, arepa, arepa is because they're uh, cornbread. Some, some of them cornbread. So yeah, you can see that. I mean, it's not a real. I mean, it is a tortilla, but it's not. It's like more thick. Depending on the type. Of, yeah, it depends. It, a tortilla is thin. Huh? A tortilla is supposed to be thin. See that break yeah. that she's doing? It's like, in her head, she's like, yeah. literally her mind went 5,000 yeah, million like, miles away. <laughs> she's like, hold on. She went through 80 possibilities yeah. in 10 <laughs> seconds, and we didn't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I was I was there, though. I was there. I was, I was like, I was with you. I okay. Was with you. I was like, yeah, I know where she's going with this. I'm with you. She, it might as well be. <laughs> Cream, I'm with you. I'm with you. I was like, yep, I know where this is going. Oh, uh, all right. So let's let's talk about this transition from hurricanes. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, public Publix is Publix is not selling hurricane cakes anymore, guys. Sorry to deliver the bad news, but this is what <laughs> this just in no breaking more hurricane news. cakes. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, it says hurricane season is late August through September. Ain't no fucking way. Now nah, that's just like May for you guys. Ain't no way. At least April. I thought it was November. <laughs> Ain't no way. It's like April to like, like November. That's what Ain't saying. no way. That's not true. Yeah. That's not true. I, thought it was November. I don't care. I don't care what this website says. National Hurricane Center. I don't believe you. So let me ask you guys a question and we'll wrap it up with this. Okay. You go to a store. No cash card only. Hmm. You go to another store, no card, cash only. Okay. 
where is your preference card slash digital money or actual physical money Ooh. physical cream. dollars cream go for it <laughs> Cards because I never have cash on me, so might as well. And I know it's not probably not my favorite, but it's just what I do. You know, I always have a card on me. I never have cash. Um, mm. Yeah. So you like you like the plastic? The plastic. Okay. Good it's what's trending? <laughs> I'm with I'm with you. I, I I carry my cards, and I might carry a twenty, just in case. Damn, that's a twenty. Just a twenty. <laughs> that's it. That's it. But I, like, if I don't, have, I don't have my I don't have my wallet on me right now, but I I, I pro there's probably nothing in there right now. And you know what I hate when like your kid they send your kids with with like some shit and then you got to pay for it and they're like, oh, you can only pay with cash. And I'm like, why? And it's got to be exact change, thirteen dollars. I'm like, where the fuck am I gonna get three dollars? <laughs> yeah. It's 2023. Yes. Give me a website so I can pay online. And then that's yeah, it. Like I don't have to send thirteen dollars to my account. kid. That's probably gonna lose it. Come on, man. Stop. It's 2023. So here's where I'm at. I'm in the middle. Okay. I'm definitely in the middle. I love the convenience of plastic, tap to pay, um, all that shit. Right? I love it. It's so much easier. But. I, I have some type of security issue when it comes down to yeah. knowing that I have the cash in hand. Yeah. Like, there's so many ways that your money can disappear in your bank and you're like, wait, what happened to this? How does this happen? What's going on? But like having it in hand is like a sense of like, nobody could take this unless they take it from your pocket, literally. Right. Or purse. Um so yeah. like I, I'm in the middle. Like I hate when I have to go. So I hate going somewhere and they're like cash only. I'm like fuck, man. And you know I don't mind. Like hey, here's the five dollar ATM that I gotta get fucking twenty bucks out of or forty dollars out of. No, uh, that shit pisses me off. Yeah. That shit pisses me off. <laughs> Ten dollars, take out five dollars. <laughs> Come on, man. Then you got it. Then you're like, you know what? I might as well just take out two hundred. <laughs> if I'm gonna pay five dollars to get twenty dollars. I might as well just take a two hundred. Yeah, clear the bank, clear the checking account. Let's just take it all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Joe. By the way, you made yourself sound like all your money is under your mattress right now. Oh no, no, no. I, I, no I, I'm very much so. The way you said that, I have. Like, you got. So you got let me Ziploc explain. Bags. You got Ziploc bags <laughs> hidden all over your place. If I had, if I had an abundance of money, that would happen. I don't have an abundance of money, so. <laughs> The uh, right, no, I'm the kind of guy that when I have cash, I'm looking for reasons to get rid of it because it's cash. It's in my pocket, like, and I have to keep it in my okay. wallet. And my wallet is not like your traditional like wider wallets. So it's one of the e wallets where it's only just for cards. Yeah. So because yep. that's what I have, like, I have a bunch yep. of cards. So I'm like, fuck, I, I you know like if somebody pays me like oh you know pay for this you know whatever I, I'll pay you back and I'm assuming they're gonna Venmo me or some shit like that. And they give me cash. I'm like, fuck. What am I gonna do with this now? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll have I'll have sixty bucks in my hand, right? And then I'm still thinking, shit. I lost sixty bucks in my bank account. Well, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, but I, got, that... I got sixty bucks in my hand. You know, what I mean, like, it's just it's just like one of those mental things. Yeah. You know, now that we're well, talking about all this, I, I thought about something. Right. The other day, I went to the Rangers game, and mm -hmm. and. They have this a concession stand where you scan your card first, right? There's sensors and cameras above you and all that, and then you just grab what you want oh, and yeah. walk out. That shit was creepy as fuck. Oh, they got your I mean, card, bro. Okay. They got your card. You're gonna try. I, I they're gonna it. run you up, bro. <laughs> I get it, like you know the convenience, but I, yeah. I didn't like that. I I feel very un I feel very uncomfortable with like. How does it know it's me taking that cheeseburger? Like, oh, it knows like your face. It scans no, your face. Bracelet. It scans your card. I wait, didn't wait, like that. Wait, didn't you say you got a, you got a, you got a bracelet or something? No, 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 no. You scan your card, right? There was no and attachment then, to you at all. Like nothing extra. Nothing, right? So then I was like, I asked the girl. I was like, how does it know it's me? Oh no, there's sensors all over this. So as you're scanning your card, the thing is like scanning your face. The sensors are scanning your face, and it follows you. Through the little concession stand, and then I, I grab a burger, grab some fries, 
grab a beer and then just walk out and then you know 10 minutes later you know 40 dollars shows up like it, it rings you up and then 40 dollars comes up missing from your bank account and you're like how the fuck and it's because it charges it for you and i was very uncomfortable i didn't like that I so that like that, that made you uncomfortable that of all the things we've discussed offline that made you uncomfortable. Hey man, it made me uncomfortable that this motherfucker just charged me without me paying but you did pay you authorized correction pay. you authorized I did. I did i just didn't like it maybe uh, because it was the first yeah. time maybe maybe because it was the first time that i did it and and maybe i feel more comfortable the next time i just didn't like it i didn't like it I did not like it. So, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Took my virginity. I didn't like it. So, I didn't like it. He said maybe because it's the then. first time I did it. <laughs> I didn't like it. Maybe I'll, like, maybe I'll like. Maybe I'll like it later. Maybe I'll learn to like it. <laughs> maybe I'll grow into it. Right? Maybe I'll get a grow on me. You'll get experience, and then it just becomes normal. So. You know what I'm saying? No. Oh my god! It's yeah. Like it's like it's like a weird fetish that I've developed or something. Like it's like maybe it's like it was, my good side, my other side. Yeah. You know? no, I didn't. I didn't like it, man. I was like, so. So what if like if my son? What if my son grabs something? Yeah, like. Don't. Or how does it? I mean, how does it know who's with me? What if? You, what if? You, what yeah. if you're holding your son up to your face and you just do one of these and you're like. <laughs> I, all I know is I didn't like that. But apparently, like, yo, my man, grab that shit is, right there. Hold it real quick. Uh, Pick him up. Apparently, do these. <laughs> I would have, I would have tested the fuck out of that thing. I would have literally tested that shit to the fullest yeah. extent. But apparently, there's an Amazon store somewhere. Oh, yeah. I don't know where. New York. That does that shit. Yeah. Like you just go pick shit up, throw it in your cart, and then you just walk out. That's dangerous. Hell no, it, it's it's funny because people think they're the convenience, but they don't realize that they're. And I, I'm gonna sound conspiracy, but they're giving. They're literally yeah. saying, "Take my face and do what you want with it." Well, you do that also when you do your phone ID and your fingerprint on your phone. You do that everywhere. Yeah. All right, but so. I'm saying, but we know we know what it is now. We like that's something that, like, yeah, you know, if you have an ID, you're fucked, like, or they have your information anyway. But like, Look, this is giving somebody, more. Right. You and I have had this conversation, right? If for people that are so worried about their privacy and have Instagram pages with thousands of followers and all they're doing <laughs> is posting their face, yeah. you're not worried about your privacy, dog. Yeah. You're, you're gone. Not. <laughs> your, your face yeah. is literally posted every day. Like you voluntarily post something online with your face standing next to a beer. Yeah, you're not yeah. really caring about your security. I'm going to throw that in quotation marks. <laughs> What, what, he he what he said. Coupon, you know, it's like, what if you have a coupon? I have a coupon, girl. I need to like save money. But if I have a two dollar and fifty cent coupon for like an item, and I'm there, like, shit, do I scan it up in the air? You gotta pay with cash. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, pay with cash. I. Hey guys. <laughs> Yo, that's like paying with pennies. Like you walk <laughs> up and you and you dump a bunch of pennies. They just look at you like, come on, man. I, yo, like if you show with listen, cash, like listen, really? I've been broke and I've done that. I'm not, yeah, not. I, I love football, pennies, no quarters. No, 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 pennies, yeah. quarters, all that shit. But I'm like, bro, what are you gonna tell yeah. me? You don't spend money? Like, how me? Uh, talk to me. Like, let me know. I'm my jar. You walked yeah. up with a sock full of pennies. Like no, I, I, I've like so in my early 20s when I was broke as fuck and I wanted to hang out and spend all my money on booze. Um. <laughs> booze and dates i'm like yo this is where money goes to why are you so broke i don't know i'm going out with a different chick every week of the week and i'm fucking you know we're drinking and chilling uh, uh priorities huh priorities. Yeah, right so <laughs> so back when it was like that cash card combo type of shit going on right you could have either or i would have change in my car or whatever the fuck it is and over time it would equate to like 10 bucks or whatever it is so there'd be times yeah. where i'm like fuck i need cash for gas well, dig into the fucking ashtray or the, the cup holder or whatever the fuck you're using. Pull out all that shit, count it up, and I throw it on the counter. I'm like, hey, here you go. He's like, oh, shit, I got to count this? I'm like, well, it's $10. If you don't believe me, you got to okay. count it. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I've done, like, like a large amount. Oh, fuck like, yeah. I, I, remember, I remember I used to work at the movie theater, right? And across the movie theater was McDonald's. And I would just show up. I remember I paid with quarters, but it was like five bucks. 
in quarters, not ten or like a large amount, right? And then we had a yeah. hookup. Like I would pay for like four burgers, and then I walk away with like thirty burgers. But then I let the, I let my homie in at the movie theater for free. <laughs> but I only paid. It was like five bucks. It wasn't like no. I've done I've done yeah. I've done ten bucks of gas. I've done seven. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like and, fuck and that, was, any gas, yo. <laughs> I'm like, hey, here it goes, my guy. Like, sorry. <laughs> and he'll sit there. I'm like, I'll wait with I'll wait. I'm like, I'm invested in this. I'll wait with you. Go ahead and count. <laughs> yes. I got time. I got time. I ain't got nowhere to go. I, I listen, I'm so I'm just happy I got, I got the seven dollars. I, I don't have any gas to go anywhere, so I'll wait for you to count. But that's my point though. So back to back to what we were talking about earlier. So the, the digital or plastic currency versus yes. actual currency. Like, I, 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 there's a, there's, so one of my favorite pictures on the internet, there's a picture of like, I think it was the Migos rappers and, or somebody hanging out with Ellen DeGeneres and they're all holding yeah. up their money and she has a fucking credit card. Like she's only, like, <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, I've seen that. yeah, so I, I'm yeah. somewhere in the middle. Like I don't know. Like I, I, I again. I like the, I like the security of having money in my hand. Like you know, if I have, right. if I have three hundred dollars in my hand, I know what I'm spending. When I go out and I'm swiping yeah. everything in my card, bro, I'm like, fuck. How the hell did it come out to seven hundred dollars? Like what the fuck? Yeah. You know what I mean? You like carry, you carry that much cash on you? No, 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 no. Like I'm <laughs> saying, like hype, like mentally. Like I don't carry that much on on me. I have, but I don't carry it like frequently on me. So come at me if you want to test me, but. <laughs> Unless you go to the strip club, I don't go to any strip clubs. Bro. I wait, like. That's a good I like, question. Just different. They'll take dollars or do credit cards now. I mean, you never know. Like, bro, do, fans, only do fans, they? only fans, bro. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Barbers, barbers got it's, fucking it's Venmos world. and tap to pay and all that shit. Like, that's it's so much yeah, easier to true. pay pay people in general, yeah. like without having to actually have like a cash register or some shit like that. Wait, like, so we're no longer making yeah. it rain? Is that what you're telling me? Is that what we're doing? I never <laughs> made it rain. Party. I'm not spending money no. like that. No, no, I, no. I, I never made it rain. Mine wasn't wow. even a sprinkle. It wasn't even a sprinkle. Like, but I'm saying, <laughs> like, are we you paying? Have $20 that you have in your, in your I mean, I mean, that. give me, give me, give me 20 bucks. I make it hail, bro. I'll throw some quarters in that bitch all day. Is that allowed? <laughs> <laughs> um, Yo, so are you I'll saying just, performers are not taking that? Is that what you said? <laughs> Is that what you just said? <laughs> Performers are taking Venmo? Cream, cream's losing it, guys. Cream's losing it. <laughs> oh, is it mayday, mayday, mayday. Okay. <laughs> We're going down. We're going down. Pull okay. up. Pull up. I want to go. I want to, I want to put my two cents in and, you know, on this topic. Two cents. I, I, mean, I, I see what you did. I see what you did there. Two cents. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? What's crazy is that in the future, people might not even get that saying. That's, that's, crazy. I, that's, that's my point. Yes. Yes. Or ninety nine yes. cents does not make a dollar. Yes. No. Yes. People what? are not gonna know what that means in the future. Ninety nine cents does not make a dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Anyways, a- back to um, <laughs> what, what I was we gonna saying, say, okay. please. Okay, I was saying I love the convenience of the whole, you know, um, digital currency thing. Um, but on the other end of it is like, how much is the government trying to control us with all this digital stuff going on? You know, at the end of the day, like we're gonna two years from now, we're gonna be all digital. Get ready for it, guys. You know, the people are like. So battling this? No. If you want to live in like normal society in a normal world in a city, not in a farm, it, you have to be digital. Everything is digital. Every I'm fucking not, thing, your phone, everything, your thing, everything is digital. So I mean, I feel like this is just gonna be everywhere. There's gonna be mandatory to be digital. There's you gonna know? be a it's time. Crazy. There's gonna be a time if, and not that it hasn't happened already. Yeah. There's gonna be a time where walking around yeah. cash is like, what are you doing? Yeah. We get, we we don't take that. Cash, cash will not yeah. be acceptable in many places. That's how crazy yeah. shit is. Like yeah. cash won't be. Hey, here's making a rain. Yeah. Why are you making a rain? You're just dirtying the floor. Just send me the shit via Venmo, or PayPal. Like what the fuck? Now, how, how do you how do you look at that? Do you look at it as a bad thing or a good thing? Or I, I have my I have my again my safety says have cash. My convenience says I love my cards. So, 
to, um, to Cream's point, you know, without getting too conspiracy yeah. theorists here, there's some control in that. Yeah. Um, I have a, a friend that, that purposely, yeah, I have a friend that purposely pays everything in cash just to piss, piss off the person at the register because he says that <laughs> kids nowadays are people. Yeah, he says that kids behind oh, the register yeah. don't know how to count, and it's true. Do that. <laughs> go to a place that. Yeah, yeah, like go to Yo. a place that mostly takes credit card or digital payment. And give that kid, uh, I don't know, 50, uh, whatever. Make sure they, there's a lot of change to come back with change. <laughs> I guarantee you that they're going to have a hard time struggling counting that money, especially with the younger person. Because hold they're not used to that. Hold, hold, how much time does your friend have in his hand, his or her hand? It's that he, he He's purposely, a of society of credit. You know, excuse me. <laughs> like he purposely walks around with cash and says, you know what? No. Yo, rebelling, rebelling is a natural human instinct. Yeah, say. man, stop it. I, yeah. I'm not going out of my way to like, oh, let's go see if fucking Johnny no, at Dunkin' no. Donuts can he count. Doesn't to, yeah, he doesn't go out of his way. The thing is, he happens to have a lot of cash on him, so he doesn't. He <laughs> makes sure he pays everything like cash. <laughs> so <laughs> that's that dude that has his money under the mattress. No, he goes to the ATM <laughs> at the beginning of the week. He takes out his his allowance or whatever that's the fuck you want to call it. Yeah. And he That's fucking he goes around and fucks around with these kids. I love it. My, my <laughs> kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> but no. In, in, right. No. Throughout this process, he realized that people don't know how to count anymore. That That's going away as well. That thought I'll give process you that. of giving you like 10, 5, you know, 11, 12, 50 cents, 49 cents, you know, like how much change do I get back? Even though the machine tells you, yeah. you still have to count. And that's something that the youth is not doing nowadays because everything is scan, 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 zip, zap, you know, like. Yeah, because they're, they're making it to where like, oh, it's convenient. It just tells you how much it is. Yeah. But you actually physically <clears throat> doing it. That's and that's a problem. That's Have you problem. guys seen the video? Yeah. And and I chat and this will end it at this. Have you guys seen the video where the kid, the parent, tells the kid to dial a phone number on a rotary dial phone, and oh. they get some type no. of reward that they want, and so they spend like an hour just fucking trying to figure out the phone. <laughs> Well, that's not, that's not, I mean, you can't blame the kid because he's never like, done that in his life. A lot of kids, a lot of people these days can't tell clocks on a digital, on an analog clock, excuse me. Oh, that's just, that's, that's, that's. You know, a, you that, know how many adults I've run into that don't know their Roman numerals? That's, yeah. that's a, well, do, do you normally I use have a normal Roman that numerals? I know them. Huh? It takes me a bit. Yeah. Like, do you know, like, do you normally use Roman numerals? Like, I know them. No, I, I know them, though. Like, this is, like, basic right, information. So like, a... what if you got to watch Rocky Four? Thing... How you know you watch watching no, Rocky Four? Got... <laughs> well, what if we're Super Bowl 57? And then you're exactly. like... <laughs> and you're like, why are we doing it? Why are we doing it? That's the 10 and the 5 and the 1. He's like, Fuck. subtract the 1. No, oh, so 10. 57 is the V. <laughs> it's the V. The oh. V, right? The v, right? Oh, no, not the V. 50. 50. No, 50. 50. Is V? The V 50? No, 50. No, no. What's 50? 50, 50 is an L. L, L. Yeah. Sorry, L, L. L is a 50. L and yeah, it's not the V. 50, L, 5 is the yeah. V. L is. Five is V. Yep. L is so L is like LV fifty. Five is fifty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LVI is fifty one. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, Anyways, <laughs> but but other Anyways. than the fucking other than the Super I didn't know it was a pop quiz name. there. Fucking Kelly, <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> you're the one. You're the one. You're the one. You're the one bragging that you know your Roman numerals. I didn't know you're gonna give me a goddamn right? quiz oh, in the podcast, bro. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> Oh, I don't know shit, shit like, man. I hate this. Maybe, maybe I don't know them. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is, do we really know? Like, do we need that? So yes. Is that, is that a thing? Yes. No. I would no, love to learn Morse code because oh. at the end of the yes. world, you need Morse code. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's not the point that I was making, though. Nobody else is going to know it. Exactly. <laughs> 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 what the fuck is this beeping? You yourself, homie. <laughs> Come save me. Motherfucker, I don't know what you're saying. What are you saying? It's beeping. Turn it off. It's annoying. Yo, shoot that shit. Yo, unplug that fucking speaker, man. This Yo, is, I'm trying to sleep. This, what's all this beeping? God damn. Anyway. I will say, though, I don't, I do not, 
and I don't I would fuck I would fucking lose it without GPS I don't know how to read a map <laughs> what bro mm-hmm. don't come at me because you got 20 years of military 20 plus years of military shit it's a map I'm a civilian my guy if you try to put me in fucking Wait, what, what did he say <clears throat> I don't know how, to read, know how to read a map you don't okay hold on hold on hold on wait wait it's okay just so we're clear I'm talking about a map he's, he's I'm talking about a map not like, not like a highway map but like a map of like terrain some random terrain type shit so it doesn't have roads you got desert land you got grassland yeah it doesn't have roads doesn't have highways I know how to read that fucking map it's not a, a random ass map of like a fucking forest with nothing in it well there's nothing in- Okay. I mean, there's nothing. What do you want to build? <laughs> like, so what do you, the a map with quadrants, no, like, what are you reading? quadrants and shit, and fucking. That's a different story. That's nah, story. man. That's not. A, that's what I meant by reading the map. I know how to read no, a regular map. That, yeah, take I ninety five and follow it to the fucking New York from Florida, bro. I got that. I, <laughs> that's not reading a map. <laughs> that's what common sense kicks in. It's north, south, east, west, right? It depends where you're going. You're gonna have to figure that shit out. Exactly. You know? Go you know, by the sun. I don't you don't know. have a compass. <laughs> We're going by the sun, <laughs> bro. I, my, yo, Florida, Florida. That's just real. I, I've used the sun many times to know where the fuck I'm going. I'm Florida, Arizona. Excuse me, Arizona. In Arizona, I've used the sun many times to figure out where the fuck I'm going. So I'm like, oh, this ain't the right way. Turn around. <laughs> Sun's over there. Okay. Oh man, that's yeah. that's smart. I would say that's smart. It's also smart to have cash. So carry cash. Until the government says it's yeah, no longer supported. Days. Oh man, because even even, even mm-hmm. money has value behind it, like certain rare bills or certain rare coins. Check that. Yeah. So like, keep your gold. I got, two, I got a I got a two dollar bill that I carry for good luck. Yeah, that's a Latino thing. <laughs> that's such a Hispanic thing. That's such a I throw, Hispanic thing. I throw that shit in quotation marks. Cause I have no idea. Like, my wife told me, "It's like, oh, it's just good luck." It's like, really? She's in my car. Like, I'm still waiting. It's popular. Still it's popular out here. It's popular right here in Arizona. Like two dollar bills. I've never seen yeah. so many two dollar bills since I came out here. Uh huh. Yeah, no. I, I think I all guess. my family carry two dollar bills in their in their thing for the luck. It's, it's definitely a, a Hispanic thing, Spanish thing. Yeah. What where did where did that come from? Like, I guess you you. And like, guess you. Here we some, go. Some Google. Latino, some Latino <laughs> dude. Fucking found it in his pocket after he washed his clothes and he just thought that He's was. Like, I just had a jackpot. Yeah. Good luck. I'm going to carry this shit. But going back to my 20s, oh. though. Going back to my 20s real quick. Finding money in my pocket. Bro, that was fucking. That was the best thing. That's the closest thing to winning the lottery. You find 20 bucks, 10 bucks in your pocket. Woo. You do that now. You're like, oh, shit. I'm like, oh man, I gotta get rid of this. I need you know, cash. You're, you're forty something, and you and you pull out like a twenty or like a like forty dollars that, that were folded in your pocket, and you forgot about it. Oh man, that's a great thing. Bro, that's but that doesn't happen to me because I don't care much cash. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh man. All right, final round table. Let's get let's wrap it up. Yo, but cash is good with like tooth fairy. It comes in handy. I just read the meaning of a two dollar bill. What's the meaning? Sorry. Oh lord, tell me. Is it meaning to actually it? Actually, not that. There's too many. Somebody put like something positive. It means the possibility of progress and encourages us to move forward with optimism. But the rest of it, everybody else, means scarcity. It means that there will be a season of scarcity in your life for a moment. This is bad news. Two dollar bills are hard. They are hard to come by um, because how few were circulated over time. Therefore, when you find a two dollar bill, it means you will experience lack for a moment. Also, when you see a $2 bill, it is a sign that opportunities are passing you by. You have stopped your mind from seeing the wow. opportunities around you. Oh, I'm shredding that and fucking there's a bunch thing. of negative stuff on $2 bills. So I don't know why we're carrying that shit around. Oh, shit. Maybe oh, I'm that's shredding. why I have to You better go buy your coffee with that. Get it out of the way. Oh, my. I'm going to break it into quarters and, and, and go pay somewhere. And have a kid counting. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> All right, final That's words. Crazy. Cream, okay. I got, hit us with some final I got words. 200 pennies on it. Hey, wait, who, who's on final words? Cream. Okay, $2 oh, Cream, go two ahead. $2 final words. Uh, final words word I would say is don't carry a $2 bill in your wallet. Let it go. <laughs> some things are, are just better to let go than to keep in your life. 
So let it go. Let yep. it go. Get rid of that dead weight. I agree. Yes. Okay, sorry. Oh, Go ahead. Man. It's all good. Good <laughs> What's good? What's good? Hey, uh, let me remind everyone the store closing continues. 40% off of all the Salute to Bruce merch oh. at salutebruce.com. The store is going away. The account is not going away. I just don't have that kind of time to keep up with the store. So, Go grab your stuff. I got a uh, couple things left, so go grab your stuff, all right? And remember, as always, work for what you want instead of complaining about what you don't have. <laughs> Dropping bombs. Dropping bombs. Um, <laughs> it's, my way of, it's my way of thinking, man. Stay out of hurricanes. Um, <laughs> as best as you can. Listen, I understand if it's coming and if your home is there. You know, we hope you, you know, we wish the best for you guys, uh, but stay strong. Um, go follow Cream Media Group. Go follow Cream. Go follow Salute to Bruce. Follow Max Salaman. Follow Max Salaman Podcast. And keep in touch. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll cut down on the sabbaticals, the hiatus. The hiatus is the right word, I think, right? Hiatus? Hey, sabbaticals <laughs> yeah. sometimes are needed, man. Hiatus. That's when we go away. Needed. Yeah, hiatus. And then you come back. So hiatus. we're going to yeah. try to improve our, sabbaticals you know, what we got, you know, improve our frequency but we got lives you know like personal life comes in travel comes yep. in i might be somewhere else next week i don't know so uh, just, but we appreciate you guys that keep yeah coming man back and listening as we appreciate the comments we appreciate you guys reaching out asking us yo what's the next episode harass us in so the dms harass us I, feel I, free. we we love yeah, that please. we appreciate that so thank you for listening <laughs> all right guys take care yeah. later it.